Okay, so this is my 48 pin Centro knitting machine and if you haven't watched my unboxing video, I will put the video link in the description box so that you can watch it. I'm using a fingering weight yarn. I am going to get to the very first pin. As you can see, if you take a look closer at the sides, uh, you will see the numbers here. So there's number 15, 14, so you can just uh, crank it counterclockwise while there's still no yarn so you can do that but you cannot do that once you have the yarns already on the pins because you will have drop stitches if you do that when you start the first row the white needle should be on your right side so this is the starting point and this is actually if you take a look it says number 48 pin so our first would be here this is uh, the start of the row we're gonna leave about six to probably 10 inches if you want this is long enough so the next step that i'm gonna do is start threading my yarn into those pins so i'm going under this first pin and then over the next one you will just repeat that going under and then over the next pin so we will keep doing that until we get to the last pin which is the white one so make sure that you won't miss any pins otherwise you will have to repeat the process So once you get to the last pin, which is the white one, then you're going to go over that. Your yarn should be over this last pin here. And then you're going to thread your yarn. So like sewing machine, this would be the attention guide. So. If you want a tight tension, choose this one. Now the second option, if you want moderate, you can do this. And if you'd like a loose tension, then choose this one. So last time I did the tightest, which is just okay, it came out good. I did the tightest part, which is I'm gonna thread this into the second and then put the thread in here so that's what i do to get the tightest tension and the tension is tight it will be a bit difficult to crank or you can see this you can hear the sound while you're cranking it and it is better if your table is a bit sturdy and the suction cups are working and sticking on the surface but with this uh, vinyl table that i just made it's not sticking and i'm sure it's going to move while i crank it once you have threaded it you can reset this counter here so for with addy king size express knitting machine it is digital this one is not so you can uh, press this button to reset it and then the next thing that we do now is we're going to crank it clockwise always do not uh, crank it the other way otherwise you're gonna have drop stitches so you have to crank it 
on one direction only like it should always be on the clockwise direction like that or the setting should be in tube setting Alright, so this is what it looks like after I did about 101 rows and you may work more if you're making a scarf but in my case I'm gonna make another beanie so after you pass or after you get to the last Pin, which is the uh, number 48 pin which is the white one you're going to drop this thread right here and then try to at least cut about the size of this machine so you're gonna cut this one and then we're going to crank one more time just to secure all the threads the last row so we're going to crank it until we get back around because if you crank one more and all the stitches will drop and you won't be able to gather all the stitches together so just make sure you're, you're doing it slowly so as you can see there I'm going to use the longest one and I'm going to thread the needle there so make sure that when you catch the loop, it should be the very last one in there. Otherwise, if you get the wrong one, the stitch will drop and that is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to catch all these loops so since I have a very long needle there I'm going to get them one at a time making sure that they won't drop before I thread them Others they do this avoid dropping the stitches so they go one at a time or you can get those loops into your needles whatever you want it's okay See those loops that just dropped so you have to make sure that you're getting the right loop in there I think you have to get this loop instead Okay, so 
I have three more. So have to make sure that you catch those loops. And then I have the last one here. there so you get all the stitches together if you missed one you will have drop stitches and it's going to unravel so let's and you're going to cinch this one to close it When we get to the other end, it's going to stretch by the way. So this is what it looks like. So sometimes you will see those big stitches. So that usually happens when you're when you were cranking and then the tension and how you hold the yarn affects the tension of the stitches. So you should be able to maintain the uh, how you hold the yarn or the thread while you're while you're knitting with this machine so the other end it's easier so you just need to find the tail end of this other side and you're going to pull this one so once you pull it it's easy to cinch it And then you're just going to, oh, that's my son's hand, I'm sorry. Um, so you're just going to push this inside to make it look good. There. So I'm just going to remove this machine and I'll get back to you. Okay, so now we have two, one big two, like that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to push this inside of the other. So we're going to push it here. As you can see, it's still opening because we're, we're still not uh, stitching it. And we're going to pull this a bit, making sure that the other side is under the other one. And then that's it. So if you're going to attach a pom-pom there, all you need to do is do not cut this two yarn ends Okay, you can attach the pom-pom by sewing it with this thread so as you can see I have two tail ends and this is how thin the yarn I use it's a fingering weight kind of yarn and this is how it turned out so if you want a dense stitch I suggest that you do the uh, double pull and this is what it looks like that's how short this hat is you can make this it longer hat. if you want and i only did a hundred rows if you want longer you can add 50 more rows to this so you so that you can fold and make the brim <laughs> You like it? Like it? You like it? I think he likes it. That's it. So that's how you can make a hat. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. In my next video, I'll show you how to make the headband, the twist headband using this central knitting machine. Thank you so much and 
don't forget to hit like comment if you have other requests that you'd like to see on my channel and don't forget to subscribe have a good day